What is up, Slabberoonies? Welcome back to the channel, baby. We got CJ over here. We got Ooh. Levi here. We got the whole crew. We've got quite possibly one of the biggest tackle warehouse unboxings ever to be filmed and put, at least on our YouTube channel. It might not be the <laughs> biggest one on YouTube. I looked up some more before this, and there's, there's some big ones out there, but... This is a pretty freaking big order. I mean, yeah. this is like over $1,300 <laughs> worth of tackle. It's all three of us. So we all combined kind of all of our stuff into one order, and uh, we're going to unbox it. But also, guys, we are doing a giveaway. We are giving away something in this box. So here's the catch. We are not going to tell you what we're giving away until the end of the video. We're gonna give you all instructions on how to enter this giveaway. We'll basically drop all the details at the end of this video so you guys will know exactly what to do. Uh, it's a pretty sweet giveaway. It's probably one of our biggest giveaways that we've done. And it's going, going to be something inside this box. So let's get started. Let's, let's get open it. this bad boy up. We got, actually we have this box right here. Look at this thing, guys. I can't believe oh you have that open. <laughs> I have not opened it. I have refrained. This is, no, this, this is, is new tape. factory tape. I this didn't believe it. new tape. Um, and man, this thing. Oh, you get a hold of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's dude. like, I weighed it. It's 15 pounds. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely I can barely can't lift it. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> I got my handy dandy pocket knife right here, so we're going to whip this thing open. And uh, see what's inside. Oh, all right, here we go. I probably should put this down. Well, here, let me just let me just pull all the paper out first. Oh, oh my moly! God. Oh, look at all the paper. Look at that. <laughs> all right, guys. Look Ooh. at that box, baby. Oh, oh no! <laughs> that is a lot of shit. All right, here. Grab this no, 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 no! Get your hands <laughs> off of that. Let me just set this down. Um, I'm gonna try to pull out a bunch of soft plastics here. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of soft plastics here. Um, here I'll just, I'll just give y'all some of this too. Y'all can talk. That's yours right there. Yeah, there's some stuff. There's some stuff. That's your stuff too. Right um, All right, first things first, guys. We got we got plenty of, of swim baits. This box is actually full of swim baits of all different kinds, not just soft plastic swim baits, but. Uh, I do. I did restock up on some Rage Swimmers. Um, you know, in the past, I've thrown a lot of Kitex, and Kitex are great, uh, but they really, they're expensive, and they get beat up really, really bad. I'm going with the Rage Swimmers for all my A-Rigs and soft swim baits and stuff like that, so I restocked on those. Um, and you can get those at home, too. Yeah, we can just like put, the, put everything to the side, just build a freaking mound in there. And then, guys, I completely restocked <laughs> on Yum Dingers. I am not running out of Yum Dingers Shoot, this season. Neither am I. At least a month. Yeah, at least a month. Unless we have a really sick day at the pond where we catch over 100 dicks. 30 packs of Yum Dingers. That's the juice, guys. Yum Dingers are great. They're durable. They're super cheap. I mean, these are like a 30 pack for like less than 10 bucks, maybe. Or maybe right around 10 bucks. So, uh, yeah, like really, really big time. I got black and blue, like blue flake. Uh, my signature highlight chartreuse tip. Those are killer. And then I also got some watermelon. So just three, like, good all-around solid colors. All right, some of this stuff, a lot of this stuff, admittedly, is my stuff. Uh, you get the power <laughs> bait. I just want to split everything <laughs> yeah. up so we can all talk about it. Yeah, put me on the spot. Drop shot power bass minnow. Uh, yeah. I love drop shot and the minnow style baits, yeah. and so that's why I picked these up. They look like just a little bit more like fancy. Realistic. Almost. Yeah, yeah. Fancy drop shot baits and power bait makes good stuff. You're gonna finesse. You might as well finesse. It's super smelly too. Power bait. And good then stuff. the Z-Man Razor Shad. This is specifically for chatterbait trailers. Once again, they just look nicer, and but they also have more action and with the uh, durability. Z-Billies, well, oh, Aztec, Durability. And then I saw these, these just caught my eye. These are uh, the Ducket uh, BD RT Shad 3.5 inch. Ooh. And they just look really good. They're really realistic, they got gill patterns, and sometimes looking good is as important as working good. So. <laughs> I had never seen those before you um, asked about these. So, pretty cool. Yeah, those two look good. They look pretty realistic. Not too shabby. Yep. Then I got two packs of Missile Bait B Bomb. Those are the bulk packs right there. Super bug. Whenever you can find bulk packs, those that's just the best. Yeah. Like those More bulk packs of Yum Dingers, bulk packs of Missile Baits D-Bombs. Those yeah. are baits that I go through 
like crazy. I go through a lot of those, and they're really good. They get a ton of bites, so. Uh, I think there's some more soft plastics in here somewhere, guys, but we're gonna move this right along. Oh, look, we got a shirt. Signature Tackle Warehouse shirt. Who wants that? Is that free? Yeah, it was oh. free. We might just give that away. Oh. We'll just throw that in the giveaway. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Sweet. All right, guys, I'm gonna pick out another round of baits here for us to go through. I did get two more A-Rigs. Um, Picasso Schooly Rig, which is my go-to A-Rig, and then a Umbrella Flash Mob Junior, which is just kind of a meat and potatoes. Uh, really good A-Rig. I really like this A-Rig. Um, I think I have another Picasso Rig in here somewhere. I just can't find it, but uh, yeah, guys, Picasso makes really, really great A-Rigs. The, the wire on these Picassos is super, super strong. I mean, they're like I don't know what gauge it is, but it's it's really heavy duty stuff. They make some of the most like big bass ready a rigs on the market, it, you know, in my opinion. So really excited about that. One little cool feature of them too is the line tie actually swivels inside of the resin head, so you don't have to put an extra swivel on like you do with this flash mob. Something a little, just a little thing like that that uh, just makes these that much cooler. Those are good. Can't wait to throw those. Let's see, that's one of yours, right there. Ooh, ooh, that thing looks fancy. Oh, and this is one of yours, Siege. Dude, ooh, that's the pond killer yes. right there. I'm telling you, oh, that is the pond do. killer. We're gonna get some of this stuff out of the way, because it's basically just boring, boring stuff. stuff, yeah. Yeah, guys, we got, we got so some boxes, a couple boxes. I got some more G-Juice. Cause I need that. It's based. If you don't know what that is, it basically just keeps fish healthy and you know alive uh, in when they're in a live well. Real quick, guys, we're, we're trying to get the box organized, but uh, I ordered just a few things in this box, and one of them happens to be this guy right here, uh, the Terminator. Steven actually recommended this. As you guys know, I've been catching fish like crazy on the spinner bait. I've always been an inline spinner guy, um, but now. You know, target those bigger baits. I throw these a lot, and uh, apparently, this is the best one you can buy. One of the best ones you can buy. My <laughs> next spinny type bait, Damiki, correct? That is a Damiki axe blade. Yeah, Damiki yes. axe blade. Make sure I was saying it right. So I've been watching a lot of like wintertime tactical bassing videos, and they talk about the tail spins a lot. And this right here just happens to be one of the better ones on the market. It's got the uh, the hook built into the uh, spinner, kind of. And uh, Steve's gonna have to show me how to catch fish with it because I'm sure it's not as easy as it looks. More boring stuff, real quick. I got a bunch of new rod socks because I need some. I don't have enough for all my rods, but I got some. Let's get into some exciting stuff. Let's get into some really, really juicy stuff here. Let's talk big swim baits because there is a lot of that in here. So, um, cool. yeah, here we go, guys. Here we go. We got Huddleston's. Yeah. I don't think I have a rod for that on. We got bull sheds. We got mag drafts. We got S waivers. Oh my god. And we got another little one here I want to talk about. Let's make sure. Nope, we got some small ones in here. Here, I'll give just y'all some here for, for now. Um, okay. Swim baits. We got a lot of big swim baits in this box. And, you know, big swim baits. I'll, admittedly, I'm kind of late to the game. It's getting really popular now. You see a lot of guys on social media, uh, YouTube channels, they're throwing big, big swim baits, using big gear for big bass. But, you know, the swim bait game's been around for a while. Like, you know, it's definitely not something new. Uh, but it's something I've always kind of wanted to get into and wanted to learn a little bit more about. I've never had the gear, really, to do it. And I've never invested in these baits, you know, these big giant baits that these guys throw and honestly like when it comes to to big swim baiting these are average i mean there's nothing yeah. here that's that big i mean the biggest thing we got here might be that that s waiver that 200 size s waiver these huddlestons these are these are just your standard eight inch huddlestons nothing crazy they get much much bigger so this a lot of this stuff is like kind of a like entry level you know first steps into the swim bait world but guys we're gonna put this stuff to the test we're gonna fish with this stuff uh, we're going to try to like catch some big fish on some big swim baits. Uh, I, I think it'll be really fun to kind of learn the ins and outs of it. But real quick, what we've got, um, boom, right here, we've got two Huddleston Deluxes. 
staples, guys. These are classics. You hear you hear about these a lot. Uh, they're just basically soft-bodied giant trout imitators, mm -hmm. and they've got. They look amazing. Yeah, I've never seen one in real life. This is my first time actually looking at one in real life. Here, let's let's go ahead and open this bad boy. What do you catch them about this size too? It looks like a real fish. Wow, wow. look at that. That's insane. That's really sick. Yeah, guys, you know, if you've been in the swim bait game or you just know about it, this is nothing revolutionary right here. This is a staple. But, uh, man, seeing it for the first time and just holding them, man, this thing is sweet. It's so sweet. And then the other one that I've got right here is another classic, a Mike Buka Bullshad. The OG Bullshad, guys. Um, yeah, this is, you know, I've heard so much about this bait, seen it all over the place. Uh, it's proven itself over the years. It's, it's one of the like original, you know, like hard jointed swim baits and finally got one, you know? Uh, I caved in and finally got one. This is a staple bait for a lot of people, not just for the big swim bait game, but for just, just getting bites and catching fish and getting, you know, bigger than average size bites. So pretty excited to have one of these in the arsenal finally. So can't wait to throw it. And it's really not that heavy. You know, you can, you can manage this on just normal tackle, uh, jig tackle, you know? All right, what do y'all have? I would talk about this, but I don't know how to. <laughs> Guys, admittedly, the vast majority of this order is, is stuff that I bought. Uh, <laughs> you know, but... Um, Normally I could wing it, but... Yeah. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this right here, Pretty guys, good. is a uh, another bait that has been talked about a lot. If you watch Tactical Bassin, um, you know, they talk about this bait a lot. I don't know if I'm spilling the beans on anything with this bait or if it's something that you know people know about by now, but uh, this is called a Little Creeper 8-inch Trash Fish, and apparently this thing is the juice. I can't wait to throw this thing. I bet the action on that is sweet. Well, I'm going to throw that one over there, and then you got another, you got another Huddleston. Huddleston. I've heard a lot about these, too. Those are like those little shad baits that also have the wedge tail, but I've heard that these things are kind of the juice. Um, just for just a shad imitation. They feel super, super Yeah, that's soft. got a lot of action on that. I can't wait to throw that, too. Magdraft. Boom. We got a, uh, got a Mega Bass Magdraft. Another really popular bait. I just I bought all the popular baits, basically. And then the last of our, our swim baits is actually a glide bait. And this is another, you know, what you would consider an entry-level glide bait. A, a River to Sea S waiver. It's huge. It is pretty <laughs> huge. It's fun to look at. Yeah, it is. All right, you got some more baits right there. Oh, yeah. I, some more soft plastics got left out. The black trick worm and then uh, the Rick Long Luck Strike uh, square bill and green minnow. Speaking of square bills, I bought some square bills too. And, you know, when it comes to square bills for me, guys, I tend to stick with these dudes right here. These are the Strike King KVDs. Yeah, just good all-around baits. And these are just some colors that uh, I've had success with, uh, th especially the Chartreuse Blackback. It's kind of my go-to color around here, so. Whew. Okay, here we are. Yeah, uh, we had some technical difficulties and uh, looks like that video got cut short. We're just gonna finish this bad boy out right here. We're at my parents' house, actually. CJ is literally editing this video that you guys are seeing right now. Crazy, it's like Inception. Not a whole lot more things to see in that unboxing. Some rods, some reels, some pretty cool stuff, but uh, wanted to get down to brass tacks. The reason you guys tuned in, the giveaway. And I'm actually holding it right here in my hands. It's upside down. Boom, a $50 Tackle Warehouse gift card. Not too shabby, right? That'll be pretty good for all these Christmas sales that are going on on Tackle Warehouse. They got one for like every day of Christmas or whatever. So how to enter this giveaway? Well, first off, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Make sure you have notifications on for our channel. Make sure you like this video and then comment down below what your favorite bait is from this unboxing or maybe what you're most excited to see us throw next. And then that's just one way to enter. We're going to have another way to enter and that is through Instagram. So if you go to our Instagram page, you will see the posts that we make. It's got, you know, basically this card on it, $50 Tackle Warehouse gift card. You should be able to find it. So in order to enter through Instagram, you need to like that post and then go and tag one of your friends. And then for every additional friend that you tag, you get another entry. So a bunch of ways to enter guys through YouTube, through Instagram, and we will announce the winner on Christmas Day, guys. So that'll be a little 
Christmas present for you guys. We'll probably announce it through Instagram, to be honest with you. So definitely make sure you're following us on Instagram to see if you want. Guys, real quick, before we go, coming up this week, actually next Sunday is when we're gonna drop the video, but really all this week we're gonna post stuff on our Instagram. We had a freaking amazing day of fishing, guys. If you follow us on Instagram, you saw we posted on our store a while back that we needed help with a scale because we had a potential double-digit fish. Yeah, we got a double-digit fish. Cannot wait to drop that video next week for you guys. So definitely make sure you're subscribed, got notifications on, you are staying tuned because that's gonna be an absolutely mind-blowing video. You guys, that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, remember, all it takes is one. Slab out.